Hey guys, it is currently really early. If I talk quietly in this video, it's because everyone else in my house is still asleep. 10 to 7, I woke up at 6.15. So I woke up just over half an hour ago because it is my first day at my new job, finally. I have just done my skincare routine. I look super tired. I actually can't remember the last time I woke up this early. So just to let you know on my skin, the past like two days I've been using this um, Urban Decay Naked One and Done. I think this is like a tinted moisturizer. It has SPF in it. And to be honest, this is definitely like out of date. I've had it for longer than 12 months. It is quite minimal coverage, but usually if I want more coverage, I'll just do it with concealer. And then I add a bit of this NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in Olive to make it a little bit darker. Speaking of skincare, I remember a few months ago now, I showed you guys this set I got from Glow Recipe a skincare set from Glow Recipe that I got off Cult Beauty and a few of you guys wanted me to like update you on that set and whether it's worth it or not so if you didn't know Glow Recipe is quite an expensive brand and there was one product that I have always had my eye on and it's their Sea Bright Pineapple Serum but guys that serum costs 46 pounds, so basically an arm and a leg, but it had the best reviews, and then I got it in this set for like, I don't know, like, I ended up getting it for like 30 pounds, and not only did I get the serum, but I also got a mini, the serum was full size, I also got a mini blueberry bounce cleanser and a mini watermelon glow sleep mask. So I've been trying it out the past few months and let me give you my verdict. So since using that serum, I'd say my skin has improved. I mean, over the past few months, my skin has definitely gone clearer, but I don't think that's because of this serum because the serum isn't supposed to clear your skin. It's supposed to like brighten your skin, make it look more glowy even out your skin tone. I definitely say my skin has gotten like more glowy and healthy looking, but I haven't noticed that it's like to help fade any marks on my skin. And overall, I just feel like it's not worth it. For 46 pounds, I think a serum needs to be life-changing. And that's honestly how it sounded in the reviews. Like people were giving it five stars and stuff. Overall, basically, I just want to give you guys my experience with it i don't think it's worth it like for that money i'd want something life-changing so as soon as i finish it i'm going to be on the hunt for another vitamin c serum that's more affordable as for like the blueberry cleanser and the watermelon sleep mask um the blueberry cleanser is okay again it's just it's not good enough for me to pay that price for it do you know what i mean the cleanser is not good if you have um, drier skin because after using it your skin does feel very like tight and my skin is slightly on the dry side so I'd say if you have like super dry skin you would definitely not like that cleanser I feel like Glow Recipe in general a lot of their products are for oilier skin which is good because it's like for the first time oily skin can have products that can make their skin glow but yeah and then the watermelon um, sleeping mask is really good, not gonna lie. That's the only thing out of the set I'd consider repurchasing and paying the full price for. Um, because genuinely when you use the watermelon sleeping mask, your skin does feel really nice and soft in the morning. And it also smells incredible. Yesterday I went shopping. Basically I went shopping for work for today. Um, so my dress code is smart casual so to me that's basically saying like wear smart trousers and then like 
you know, a semi-casual top, but obviously like no cleavage, no like crop tops or anything, like it still has to be work appropriate. And then like smart shoes. I only have two, or I only have two smart trousers. By the way, my lips look ridiculous because they're always swollen in the mornings. I only have two smart trousers. I have black ones from Zara, which is the ones I wore to the interview. And then I have grey ones also from Zara, like the same style, but they have like a white stripe down the side. But I wanted more variety. And also those ones from Zara, they're not high-waisted. They're kind of mid-waist and I prefer high-waisted. So yesterday I went shopping with my cousin Roxy. I went to H&M because H&M is really good for workwear, it's quite affordable. And I tried to vlog it, but it was basically a fail. Like I barely got any footage. <laughs> Right guys, in the car now, about to leave. My cousin literally lives about two roads behind me. And I don't think she wants to get anything today, but it's a Sunday, so what I forgot, oh, I have to put the handbrake down. What I forgot was that, um, shopping center shuts up. Five, I want to say. Neither of us have eaten anything, so we're very hungry. It's two o'clock, we haven't eaten. So, the first thing we're going to do when we get to the shopping center is eat. Right, just picked up Roxanne. We feeling Yo Sushi? Yeah, Yo Sushi. Super Sunday, if you didn't know, every Sunday in January they're doing a third off food. Which is brilliant. All our food's just arrived. I got the pumpkin katsu, avocado maki, and these are delicious. Okay guys, I'm in the H&M changing rooms. I literally found so many things. Um, I've got several tops here to try on. Although I just realized this has a makeup stain on it. So if I like it, I'd have to see if there's another clean one out there. And then I've got some black trousers, some grey ones, this one's checked which I think is nice and it's also nice and thick for winter. Right guys, these are the first black trousers. Um, I do really like them because they're nice and high waisted and I like this ring detail but they're not quite as tapered as I'd like at the bottom. But I guess that's okay because you don't want to be wearing like skin tight stuff to work. And then this, so these trousers are $24.99 I think. So guys, this is the next one. But for some reason it's too big. It's a size 8. And I love the pattern. It's like nice and thick. But it's just like too big around the waist. Okay guys, we've found the trousers, but in another size A, and for some reason it fits pretty much perfectly now. So the other one must have just been like something wrong with it, but it fits a lot better. And yeah, I really like the pattern, the fit. This one's $19.99, whereas the black one I wanna get is $24.99, so this one's a bit cheaper. I think I'm gonna get this bag for work from Topshop. I think it's quite cool, like it's quite a different style, so I think I'm gonna get it. It's 20 pounds, which isn't too bad. Oh my god, this concealer is running out and it's my favourite concealer and it is expensive to replace. It's the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. Nobody talks about this concealer, it's not like a prop, it's not like a popular beauty guru like concealer you know like everyone talks about like Maybelline Fit Me or like Urban Decay concealers or Tarte Shape Tape you know but honestly guys it's the most hydrating concealer I've ever tried which also provides full coverage so it's perfect for me because my under eyes are dry AF but basically more about my like actual job my actual job title is a mental health support worker and I'm working in a hospital. I've never done it before. This is my first like proper job. Um, it's my first job like actually in a healthcare setting in this field. That's not like voluntary. It's very like intense. You're dealing with very vulnerable people. These people can get aggressive or violent or distressed. You see distressing things at work. And on top of that, the hours are very grueling. 
um, very long hours, sometimes unsociable. Um, I will have to do night shifts sometimes as well. Hey okay, guys, my camera just cut off, but I just bronzed up my skin a little. I just don't know like what work is like. Like, is it gonna be like school where they're like strict on like piercings and like nail polish? Like I removed my nail polish last night because I was like, I don't know if I'm allowed nail polish. Are they like strict about how much makeup you wear? Or is it like wait, is it like uni where they just like don't really give a fuck? So that's actually like my job title and what I'm doing, but like my shift pattern. So for the first month, so all of this month in January, I am just training. So I think that's really good that they do give you a lot of training because it is a very intense job. It kind of eases me in, it gets me into a routine of getting up early again before my actual shift pattern starts. So for the first three weeks of January, the first three weeks of training, it's Monday to Friday, 9 till 5. I don't think I'm going to apply highlighter. Should I do a highlighter to work? See, I'm thinking of all these things. The final week of January, you go on the actual ward you're going to be working on and you shadow someone. So the final week of January is your normal shift pattern because you're going to be shadowing someone working the normal shift pattern. And the normal shift pattern is not nine till five, five days a week. It's 7 a.m. till 7.30 p.m. three days a week, which equates to full-time hours basically so like you know it's quite nice because you get four days off in a week um but you'll probably be quite tired on those four days off recovering because starting at 7 a.m is very early and then finishing at 7 30 is like a very long day it's like a 12 hour day I actually got this from father christmas and it's like a whiteboard um planner so you can wipe it off every week and you have the days i've added the date here and then my hours because actually it's nine till five monday to friday but some days i finish at 12 so today and then next to it i've put like what kind of training i'm getting this week in case you're interested i've left monday blank just because today is like a very like chock-a-block day I think it's basically going to be them feeding us a lot of information just about I think I saw we're going to sort out like payroll safeguarding like they just kind of feed us a lot of information today about like the hospital and their policies and stuff I straightened my hair last night because I was like fuck doing it in the morning it's like nine till five but they said get here for 8 45 you know just to like set up and everything and it's not i'm leaving an hour early so i'm leaving at 7 45 and it's not an hour away but i just want to like gauge how much traffic there is this time of morning and stuff like i'm just trying to gauge all the timings like i just I got up at quarter past six to leave at quarter to seven. So giving myself an hour and a half in the mornings. And I'm also leaving out early. So I'm doing everything super like early just to be on the safe side. You know, my first day, I just kind of want to gauge like the timings and stuff. Like see how late I can wake up and how late I can afford to leave the house. I don't know what to do with my lips. Maybe just a bit of lip liner and then take this lip balm because it's slightly tinted. It's the Glossier Balm.com in the scent Rose. And it's really, really nice. And it gives a slight tint. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much me ready for my first day of work. Um, I'm gonna like go brush my teeth now. I need to finish my coffee. I've got like 25 minutes. I'm gonna get dressed. I will show you my outfit get my bag ready and then I'm gonna head out I because I don't wake up at this time I don't know is it still dark at this time yeah it is these are the high-waisted black ones from H&M that's what they look like and then this jumper is from Zaffle and I've just tucked it in in the front and it's got kind of like wider sleeves and then this is my bag. 
got it from Topshop and it's big enough to fit everything in and I just thought it was really different so I got that from Topshop this jacket is from Zara full work outfit guys ready for work yeah what's the time now it's exactly quarter to eight now so i need to go but um thank you so much for watching this first day at work get ready with me um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the thumbs up down below. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.